Hello and welcome to today's video that is brought to you by my Patreons. If you also appreciate my content and would like to support my channel, don't hesitate to visit my Patreon page, the link is in the description. Welcome to the sixth part of this series where I am making a copy of the pochette made by Stradivari in the beginning of the 1700s. In the previous videos I made the top and the back and I made the purfling and the arching. Now it's time to turn them around and work on the thickness. Unfortunately I still haven't had the occasion to visit the Museum of Musical Instruments in Paris where they have the original instrument to measure it a bit more accurately and have it in my hands or at least see it so I can understand a bit better how it is made. That means that I also I don't know how thick the blades are and that's why I am going to make it a little bit on my own experience and feeling. I will use a bit the measurements that I do for a full size violin. This instrument is very narrow so it is pretty strong and that means that I can go to the same or maybe even a little bit thinner. I'm going to start with the back and I'm going to drill holes in the inner side of course until a thickness of about 4 millimeters. That will guide me when I'm working with a gouge. To do that I'm going to use my push drill. The guiding holes are drilled. Now using the gouge and the shaping mold I am going to remove most of the wood. The marks almost disappear, that means that now I can clean up a little bit and start working on the thickness with the small planes. It looks good. It is about 3 millimeters thick. I think that this is good. I don't dare to go much thinner. I don't want the instrument to break as soon as it is finished. Now I will use the scrapers to clean it up.
And finally I cleaned everything up with a little bit of paper. The back is ready, now it's time to work on the top. And the top is going to be done a little bit different. I'm not going to finish it completely to measurement, as I have to make the F holes in it. I will start again by drilling the holes on the push drill. Okay, the middle is about 5 millimeters. Here at the sides it's a little bit thinner as also the arching has a different shape. And that is good to work on the F-holes. I will make the F-holes in the upcoming video. And of course I also have to make the template of the F-holes, so there is enough to do. Thank you very much for watching. Many thanks also to the Patreons for supporting the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and use also the notification icon. Probably you will get notifications as soon as the videos are online, but I have noticed that that is not always the case. So don't forget to uh, visit my channel every once in a while, so you won't miss the upcoming videos. Don't forget also to like the video, if you liked it of course, and I will see you next time again. Bye bye!